What is going on, everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode in my path to power. Picking up before or where we left off, essentially listing some players up. Uh, I believe it was last Thursday is when I listed them, which is like a great day to sell in general. I got to say Thursdays are awesome if you want to make some coins because that is when people are getting their players ready for the weekend league and buying, 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 it's driving up the prices. So this was the team that we had before that I was toying around with, thinking about going with, but I decided we're going to go ahead and sell them on. This formation, in theory, was sort of working for me, but I didn't like some of the situations I was forced into with it. So we are going to go ahead and switch it up uh gonna do a little bit of a throwback but we'll get to that in a minute and as i'm going through this i'm thinking i didn't actually show you what i paid for all of the guys so i will have to do that in the next episode of the path power i apologize again the weekend has been like all of my free time that i would use for playing editing and recording commentaries and stuff gets devoted into trying to play the 40 games this weekend, if I had a soundboard for this, like a proper podcast, I would cue the violin and say that I missed out on Elite by one game, and I disconnected in my first game of the weekend up 2-0 in the 60th minute, so I don't know what to make of that. The frustration is real. My understanding is that EA is working on it, is like aware of stuff and working on it, which is really all we can ask for. Um, that and transparency, which I try to be pretty transparent with you guys myself. I think um, EA is trying to do a better job of that as well. You can see we got a lot of guys that have sold on here, which is great. 446,947 FIFA 17 ultimate team coins is nothing to stick your nose up in the air at. That is quite a nice coin total. We're going to keep a few players here. We're going to keep Navas. We're going to keep Varane. Uh, Varane is my favorite center back that I've used in this uh, year's game. That goes for a reasonable price. Now I've used Sergio Ramos in the draft. He is awesome. I have not actually used Jerome Boateng once because his price is super, super high. And I just feel like with the struggles that I have going forward, I should be spending my coins in the attack. Switch up to the 3-5-2. Uh, I went out, big money players are Lacazette, Ben Arfa, Griezmann, Conte, uh, and I think that about rounds it up. Players that I love in here, Lastiara and Ntep are amazing. Musa Sissoko is good. He's not great. Um, Mangala is a wonderful budget center back. He is so big and so strong. Um, his defending is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? His defending is adequate, I guess, is what you're looking for. We're also changing up the tactics because uh, I learned a few things in the weekend league. Now, I did not use this formation in the weekend league. This next weekend, if I'm not out of town... I will probably use it. I ended up switching to a 4-4-1-1 and a false nine for the weekend league. Different variations um, depending on how I was feeling, which isn't like the best thing in the world to do because you fall out of rhythms and things. Um, but the 3-5-2, I, have, I, I really, really like it this year. Um, and I think I'm finally learning how to play it and succumbing to the fact that sometimes playing on the counter is perfectly fine and more importantly, very, very necessary this year. I also am going to get questions undoubtedly about the combination of Lastiara and N'Golo Kante as my two CDMs. They're so small, Japes, you can't win a header. I do not care. The goal of this team, the way the DMs are set up, is not to win headers. It is to trap my opponent in and have those two guys buzzing around the midfield, intercepting passes and quickly nicking the ball back, and then putting the pressure on with pacey-ish counterattacks from Griezmann and Lacazette. Uh, I've got Ntep who gets forward nicely uh, and pinging around some quick passes to get in 
you know, and cause some problems that way. So it is a different style, a little bit of a different mentality. If I was sticking with my older mentality, I would be really, really happy with this team that I came up against. I'd be like, this is the team that I'm going to take over the world with. It is realistically Barcelona with Danilo and Griezmann. Other than that, it's just Barcelona, uh, which Barca's got a lot of good players. And I'm sure he was using that to qualify for the weekend league in the tournament because you had to have minimum six players from the same club. You can see Conte wings it back. Conte plays in Lacazette. Lacazette scores a goal. Uh, and this is going to be a theme. Now, I do have, if you were paying attention to the instructions, both of my CDMs, Lastiara and Conte, are on man mark. I have been struggling with a 4-3-2-1 formation, things of that. I find that when I put on man mark, these two guys like glue themselves sometimes to the left forward and right forward. Uh, Messi scores a nice goal there. I just You just can't give Messi that much room. He's got the best finesse shot in the game, uh, as well he should. Um, and that's just kind of a mistake on my behalf. I wasn't positioned like too poorly there to try to block it, but I wasn't uh, in a good enough position to totally snuff out the attack. But I have man mark on. Um, I'm going to get questions like, Japes, aren't you trying to cut passing lanes and like get counters quickly? I prefer, you see how they're just like glued onto players, right? Look at where their position is. They are glued on and then they're instantly available to kind of transition and wait for things to open up. We get our chance here. Ben Arfa, don't mind if I do. An absolute thunderbolt right into the back of the net in the 84th minute. He is awesome. I paid 49,500 coins for him. I uh, He is awesome on this game. Really, really nice. I packed Pogba on my main account and was using a team similar to this. Super bummed the guys in the way because this is one of my favorite celebrations where they do the rowing the boat on the uh, boards. Unfortunately, we don't really get to see it. Uh, but he is great. I'm using Pogba in that spot on my main account. Ben Arfa competes with Pogba in that spot, so Pogba might be moving backwards in place of Lastiara because N'Golo Kante, for me, still definitely has potential to be the best CDM uh, or in the conversation for best CDM in FIFA. I think he is really, really that good. He doesn't win headers. I don't care, right? Generally, I play with a high enough back line that if they're really trying to bomb the big ball forward, my CBs should be winning those headers. And Mangala, Laporta, and Varane are all very, very capable of winning um, an aerial duel with many of the strikers in the game. And then those two guys clean up the scraps. Like, if it's popped up straight in the air, that's fine. Because Lastiara and N'Golo Conte just, like, buzz around, clean up the scraps. And Lastiara, though his passing is not great, I think I put Architect on him to give him more physical... Or I wanted to buy him with Architect. I don't know if I ended up doing it. But give him more physical and give him more passing because he does have over 80 dribbling, which is super overlooked. He and Conte both do. And that means that they are capable of not only holding the ball if they need to, but... Uh, beating a player and uh, shuffling around essentially to create passing lanes and quick counter attacks. It is a different style, as I mentioned, but I really, really like the 3 5 2. And I am going to try to get better at it, right? Because my biggest issue this year, and is that, well, biggest issue. I have multiple issues this year. Don't get me wrong. Don't let me trick you into thinking that I think I am a phenomenal FIFA player. I think I got 29 wins while we were one shy of elite. So 29 wins this past weekend league. I lost four games on penalties. I did win one game on penalties, so that felt nice. Uh, but the issue is I don't finish my dinner and I don't create as many quality chances as I feel like I should. So, what's the solution for that? Let's send more guys forward. Try to use a quick-ish, pasty-ish back line. You could, of course, use Jeremy Mathieu if you wanted to. Uh, Umtiti would be phenomenal instead of Mangala. Uh, Laporta is... Uh, you're going to see... Actually, was it... In, no, you'll see in one of the games. He is very, very hit or miss for me. There are plenty of French options that you could slot in right here and it would work out just a charm you could also hybrid this out obviously um get david louise in there tiago silva uh you've got the ancolo conte links and like a bpl thing going on there on the right and do it that way griezmann you could add carrasco and then do like a 
BBVA left side. The reason I have Griezmann on the left and Lacazette on the right is because I like doing the power shot, but the keep it low where you tap it again across body. I find that's where I'm best finishing. So I'm trying to give myself as many chances as I can to do that. I have both of my strikers set on get in behind, which is a new thing for me, right? And I think I'm going to toy with that a little bit. I might move them both back to balanced or leave one on getting behind because I find sometimes like I just want them to sit there and like check back for a pass. Uh, this is where I about lost it with Laporta. He just gets absolutely skied over by Jeremy Menez. Maybe I didn't release left trigger quick enough after trying to body to contest that. So maybe it's my fault, but I was still really, really bummed that... Look at how high Jeremy Menez gets. Like, that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, and pretty ridiculous in, like, a cool way. Like, wow, that's pretty good. But here, he bodies up nicely on Pastore. And again, we're looking for a quick attack. Lacazette is going to make his way down the line. And we're trying to sprint past. Look, Perrin, that is poor bodying for me. This is a poor decision from him. And Ben Arfa is in. But we take the smart pass. Because while I thought Ben Arfa could definitely finish and finesse it into the far corner, there is still a margin for error. And while there is a margin for error on Griezmann missing that, it is much smaller than that of Ben Arfa on the finesse. So we take the sure thing down 1-0. Ben Arfa here, absolute thunderbolt yet again, scoring some really, really important goals for us. Uh, he does have a chemistry style on him. I'm not sure what it is. I like the idea of putting Maestro on him. I think that would be a good one for him. Um, or you could add a Hunter to him. I would also respect that one because a little bit of extra pace in the attacking mid position when you've got your two strikers trying to get in behind means there's room for him to run into and attack that space with pace. No intense on the... Uh, the rhyme right there, but you can see it's a quick counter-ish yet again. And Lacazette, there's the driven, like, far corner shot. That's where I find my finishing is most consistent, making this one 3-1 in the 64th minute. And we're heading over to the boards to celebrate. Why? Because when we head to the boards, I like it because it feels like a random, well, it is a random celebration. You have no control over what they do, so it's something extra for me to watch. It's really that simple. Uh, there are celebrations that I do if I'm, like, pretty wound up or want to send a message if you will i've been i've been liking the calm down celebration a lot lately i use that a lot in the weekend league where it's like dude you need to chill on your ultra d counterattacks because they're driving me absolutely bonkers and that was what i'm susceptible to is the 4-3-2-1 ultra d counters and this is not great defending for me right there uh, he brings it back 3-2 not great to give let the two goal lead be cut into like that but will this formation be effective against 4-3-2-1 counters in my opinion, yes. Now, only time will tell when I come up against elite players to try to stop it. But if Conte and Las Diara sit on the left forward and right forward, that means that I have three extra center backs to help with that as well. And things stay narrow. I'm pretty confident in my ability to kind of jockey players if I need to and let players recover. So I feel good about it. I don't feel as good when it's the... Uh, four three one two or four one two one two narrow on the counter because then when Loss and Conte get a little bit further forward, the attacking mid draws one of my center backs up and out of position, and that allows for you know plenty of space to play through balls to I don't know let's say Musa and Vardy, which are a very very popular combo in foot champions. Uh, so we are on 70k. I do want to figure out something to do with the weekends when I am playing the weekend league. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to go out of town, I think, this weekend. So there will potentially be some, I don't know, pre-recorded-ish content for you guys because I want to get back to uploading on weekends as well. I don't, it's not my intention to not do that. I just have limited hours in the day and... As many of you know, I am a pretty competitive guy and want to get all 40 games in and give myself the best chance. The grind this weekend didn't feel as bad. Um, and I think it's because I was using some players that I was a little bit more fond of. Um, Pogba, for as much as he goes for, I don't know if he's worth it. I think he is in some instances and in some situations, but I'm tempted to sell him on because I could complete the Payet and the... Douglas Costa, untradeable Halloween, scary, scary rip on the whatever challenges they are. 
Um, so I'm tempted to do that, but he's a first owner. I could also sell on my first owner, Marco Royce, and just do the Douglas Costa one. Though I think Payet as an attacking mid in the 3-5-2 would be freaking brilliant. And so I kind of want him because Lastiara and N'Golo Conte, while I'm using them on my Path to Power account, I would not be scared to use them in any combination on my main account as well. You can see, and it's quick It's quick passes. He gives Lacazette a little bit of room and a finesse shot in at the far post, ninth minute. It's quick passes, pinging it a little bit. It's a little bit more ping-pongy than I am, but uh, I do create a lot of chances. You just don't see them uh, in this episode from slower buildup. So don't worry. There will, of course, be goals from that. This one, though, is just a quick counter. 1-0, final score. Don't mind if I do. And we'll move on from there. I think this was actually a close, well, not a super close game. You can see I'm still keeping 60 ish bizarre well just shy of 60 which is actually i think a really really good spot to be in this year right so here my reasoning on this uh generally in fifa i'd be happy to hold at least 60 where you're getting high quality chances but you're still getting them pretty consistently and then winning it back but because of the way i've been playing i need to create more chances and make riskier passes take more shots to create more goals because they're just like my finishing is either inconsistent or I'm not creating great chances. So my solution right now is quantity over quality and it's working right. And that's okay. Sometimes taking quantity over quality in FIFA because of the elements of randomness and different things can come in, that come into play. That is totally acceptable. Uh, this was on me. I thought I'd read it up. I just want to show you guys that I'm like, I too, do some of the stupid things. And I was like, oh yeah, my bad, dude. Uh, also, to the guy that's been telling me to change my kits. Wait, where's my phone? Hey Siri, remind me to change my kits in 10 minutes. We'll see if Siri reminds me. Actually, my phone's not even in here. I didn't hear her go off, but I got a new iPhone finally, or I got an iPhone for the first time, finally, not too long back. I'd been on Samsung all the time before that. So now I need a case. Um, and if you guys have any case recommendations for an iPhone 7 that you really like, ideally it would be um, something semi-grippy that's easy for me to hold on to. And then, oh, well done, Angolo Conte. Again, quick counter. My midfield suffocates the attack, and as his back line is stepping, I'm able to quickly pounce on players that are out of position. This is my current strategy. Uh, and something that I'm finding to be pretty darn effective for the most part. Add in some better players, and on my main account, I'm up higher in divisions. Toss in some better players, and it still seems pretty effective. So it's a tactic that's working for me, and right now I just feel like I should roll with it. But I want a case that's super sleek and pretty grippy and will allow me to occasionally drop it, but I don't drop my phone that often. Um, and when I do now, it's just because it's slick and it like slides out of my pocket. Um, so nothing that adds too much to it. So if you guys have any recommendations, I would appreciate them. The best way to give those to me, I would appreciate. Well, you can leave a comment and I'll run through them, but Twitter would be awesome. My Twitter is at airjapes. Um, you can see here, I actually changed Griezmann, I think, to stay central. Now, I don't know if that's going to stick. That's me tinkering, right? That's me trying to figure out the best kind of way of doing it. If in my, like, in my mind, the best way that I would love for this formation to run would almost be if I had a, like, how can I explain this? I had one striker that just more or less planted himself in the middle and I could use a bigger striker that would occasionally try to get in behind still. And then my other striker would literally buzz around from side to side to side to side nonstop. And I'd sub that player off in the 60th minute and bring on another player to buzz around from side to side to side to side. Uh, that would be ideal for me, right? Because then you get the best of both worlds. You have a player always in the middle that you can play off of. And you've got one that's willing to stretch the defense, allow your attacking mids to, or your outside mids to combo play a bit better. I think I have Ben Arfa on free form, which is not what many people would recommend for a quick counterattacking ish style. That's why it's an ish, like quick ish, or quick ish counterattack sort of style. I don't know how to I don't know how to describe what we're doing right here because 
the whole way counterattacks work, it's like muscle memory on FIFA. You ping forward and then ping, 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 and hopefully you're in behind. But when your players are on free form, they're going to show up in different spots, and you can't go just off of muscle memory. You have to see it and react to it. So it's a little bit different than that. Heading on to an, into a match against Honduras FC, and I swear, over the many, many years now that we've run Path to Power, I 100% have come up against this guy in the past. Maybe not, well, or at least a Honduras FC. Maybe multiple times. I'm semi-curious. I want to say there was a guy, you remember that Max episode? Way, or he's mad, or whatever I titled it, in my more semi childish i thought i was going to learn how to be a sweet editor days uh with troll faces dancing and all sorts of things where the guy kept calling me not so nice things i want to say his name was honduras fc but that's a story for another day sissoko um mainly included in the squad i could have used Usmane dembele who i actually really like in real life and would be more inclined to use um but i felt like i could use a little bit of power in the attack or a little bit of size because nobody really has it on my team. So I was like, you know what? Let's bring on big Musa. I, he will get back and help defensively if need be. So, um, and he does do that. He does the right thing. So you can see Conte right there, kind of manning up, skips in front with his quickness, wins the ball back. And then I'm able to start a semi counter attack. Griezmann on his say central instructions hanging out out wide. Lovely ball there from Intep, and this is just a great finish. And that's what I was talking about, where that charge it up, tap it again, far, porn, far corner, keep it low finish is my jam. That's what's working for me this year. Um, and Griezmann really showcasing it right there, keeping it low wonderfully, skipping it into the far corner from a really tight angle. Yes, I could have played it across, but my mind is not working like that at the moment. Uh, and you can see Navas... Uh, I dragged, who is this, Lacazette, down to the bottom um, into a pocket of space and was like, if I can get it to him, we'll be on the counter. And Ben Arfa skips free, manages to play the smart pass across. 3-0, 79th minute. Feeling good about all things FIFA at this point. Um, life, liberty, and the pursuit of ultimate team glory. These are our rights as a FIFA player. So that is where we are going to come to a close for this episode. I do apologize again for not getting stuff up over the weekend. Uh, I need to figure out what we're going to do there. You can see quantity over quality, but we did manage to score three goals. So I'm calling worth. Uh, thank you guys for watching, though. If you did enjoy it, a like or thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Other than that, we'll be back tomorrow. My name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.